talk about Park Ridge. Park Ridge is a, a town that's always had kind of a Chicago neighborhood feel to it. Um, although lately it's really come into its own. They've uh, done a lot of work to their downtown and they have a really diverse housing stock. And um, I met Stephanie Sigetvery right outside of our new At Properties office in downtown Park Ridge. And let's see what she had to say. So getting into the, the real estate market in Park Ridge, if you could use one word to describe what's happening here, what would you say? Well, I would say um, very stable. Um, so there's a really healthy real estate market uh, here in Park Ridge. Um, some of the more important statistics that we always want to look at, of course, is average sales price, median sales price, inventory, closed sales. And they've been very steady um, year over year. You had mentioned stability and, and one of the factors being kind of a really nice downtown environment. Mm -hmm. What are some of the other things, you know, specifically with regard to housing that make Park Ridge able to withstand some of the ups and downs of the market, you know, or, or just a really healthy housing market? Well, of course, it, it boils down to diversity, right? You want to make sure that you have product for everyone. So whether it's a first time home buyer, um, a downsizer or someone who needs to upsize, their family is growing and they need a larger home. Park Ridge really has inventory that's going to satisfy everyone's needs. Stephanie, you said that the hottest housing type in Park Ridge right now is a rehabbed ranch. And we are sitting in an absolutely beautiful rehabbed 1950s ranch. Why is this product type so popular right now? So we, we understand that there is a huge opportunity for people who want to downsize from their current large homes where maybe they raise their family, um, but yet they're not ready for condo living. So a great alternative for them uh, is to go ahead and get purchase a ranch that needs some updating. And that way they can really personalize it to their own taste totally updated and they have that single level living that they really desire. One of the things that we've talked about in you know some of the of the past market reports is is buyers you know having the I mean I guess buyers and sellers but buyers having the courage to to approach a rehab. Right. Uh, you know in this case it's a professional architect so right. obviously they're used okay. to it but you know, I mean, if if um, you know if, if buyers can walk into an older home and have some vision, or maybe their broker has some vision, then um, you know their options really open up. I think this is a great example. Oh, this is a perfect example of that. And I and again, I can't agree with you more about uh, sometimes buyers don't have the vision to do it, and that is a great role or a service that uh, a realtor can provide uh, their client is just showing them examples of what can ha you know what can be done with the house to turn it into their dream home um, and we're seeing it actually more and more but it is I think it's, it's a trend it's a trend that's here to stay and uh, again we uh, the agents gonna pay and in, play an integral part in making sure that their clients can see that vision Stephanie talked about stability and attributed a lot of that to the diversity of housing product and price why does that matter you aren't just hitting the luxury market like there are some suburbs on the north shore that are basically strictly speaking luxury market so if that area takes a hit then that suburb can suffer a little bit more uh, park ridge is nice because it has incredible amount of diversity you have very very entry-level condos and you have some beautiful maybe mansions in uh, in park ridge as well so you've got a wide uh, swath of housing to appeal to a variety of different people and, and a variety of different incomes and it's a, it's a really great suburb because it's close to downtown. It has a great downtown area, very, very quaint, older downtown. And um, it's, it's just, I think it's got a big resurgence right now, partially because it's a good value. It's fun too, because you can buy an entry level ranch there, start a family, move up, build a home or have a larger home. And then as your family leaves and starts their own families, you can stay in the community and move back down to a ranch. So because they have such a great variety, you can actually stay in the community for your entire life and they have every housing stock to support you. Let's talk about the, the rehabs because that is something that we've talked about a lot throughout this year. And Stephanie said it's a trend that's here to stay. Why is that? Well, I think people are trying to create value for themselves. And you know, while everyone would love turnkey, particularly in the kind of moderate price range, there's an opportunity to go in, do some work, do a little bit of rehab and create some long-term value and also have it the way that you want it. They're great values. I mean, the disparity between resale and new construction has never been wider. So if you're really looking to 
you know, generate equity in your home, it's a great, it's the only opportunity in many cases you're going to be able to do that is buying an aged property, uh, cleaning it up, making it beautiful, making it modern, and you can still then own that gap that you create, that equity you create by doing the work.